All right, guys, good morning. It's Monday. A quick uh, couple things and then a food review. First of all, uh, coronavirus. You know, everybody either is one extreme to the other. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't, I mean, I'm using hand sanitizer, you know, um, just to be safe. I'm not definitely not asking for a, a case of coronavirus or flu or anything else. Um, so there was that. I guess the extreme other end of it, uh, my my personal uh, science, scientist Cameron has come up with a theory of if you knew you was going in a room of 100 people and 4% die from this, so four out of those 100 are gonna die, would you walk in that room? And I guess the answer for everybody would be no. And uh, so, I guess you just gotta take precautions. You know, you don't go anywhere where there's a lot of people or the potential threat, um, especially like the malls or airports, or I can't imagine traveling on the subway right now. That'd probably be kind of freakish. Um, if your kids got it, man, or got any kind of symptoms, leave them home. Don't send them to school because, you know, that stuff spread like wildfire. So I don't know, man. Just wash your hands. Cover your mouth when you cough. Don't touch your eyes and nose and stick your fingers in your mouth. Everything you learned when you was like five years old. So do that. Secondly, a little tip. Watched a lot of baseball this weekend. Something you should never do, in my opinion, in baseball is bunch your cleanup hitter. Um, for one reason, he's a cleanup hitter. And I get it. There's scenarios where the book says bunch the runners over. It never works out. I saw it a couple times this weekend. One time he missed a bunt, runner on second gets picked off, taking a too big a lead. Secondly, he pops up the bunt and he's out. Third, he misses the bunt or fouls it off and he ends up being 0-2 to your best hitter, which is in the lineup to be a cleanup hitter. And through any level, rarely ever, unless he's just really good with the bat, three or four guys can't bunt. They don't even try to bunt. Their, drive, their job is to drive in runs. So you high school guys, put the book up. You know, when you put your lineup together, one, two, seven, eight, nine should be higher bunting percentage guys. Your three, four, five guys should swing the bat. You end up putting your guy in a 0-2 hole. Then the pitcher can throw anything. He strikes out. You know, the, the base runner gets too big of a lead. You end up getting picked off. It changes the whole dynamic of the game. If you if you ever bunt your four hole hitter, uh, you need to be ejected for one game. That's just what I'm saying. Anyway, so today, Chipotle. Most of you probably know about Chipotle. Some of you don't, and everybody should. So you can get burritos. You know them big old burritos people get made. I don't even know how y'all eat them things. They about the, I mean, they about that big around. You can get tacos. I think most of the tacos are three tacos per meal. And you can get salads or you can get a bowl. Now, that's my choice. And it's like eight bucks roundabout. So pretty much a Chipotle bowl consists of rice. It starts with rice and you get either white or brown rice and then you can get Pinto beans or black beans. She put this sucker on here now. Well did this sucker shut. Alright. This is what it looks like when it's all done. So you got rice, then you got beans, and then your meat. You can get steak, chicken, veggie. I always get carnitas, which is like pork. And then they finish it off with mild, medium, or hot salsa corn which is uh just a little corn mix and then cheese and then if you want you can get guacamole on top i think it's an extra two bucks um you can also get i could side order chips and salsa for like 250 and then large drink a bowl a carnitas bowl and a large drinks 1090 it's about right these days but i tell you what you want something that's, that'll fill you up, and I know the sour cream ain't necessarily good for you, but rice, beans, salsa, 
cilantro, uh, corn. It's pretty good, you know, if you take out the sour cream. I'm not taking out the sour cream, but. For me, Chipotle is better than Moe's. I like Chipotle. The, the food doesn't taste that southwesterny burnt taste. I actually love Chipotle. I mean, that's a lot of food, man. I suck it there. I don't know. Weighs a couple pounds. Stick to your ribs lunch. Get you through the rest of the day. Good. They cook all the cook all the meat right there behind you. They was cooking chicken while I was in there. Cooked the steak, pork. Like I said, you can get a veggie. Um. Steak's got a little bit of uh, seasoning to it. It's a little warm. So if you go in knowing that it ain't like a steak and cheese sub kind of steak, it's got a little heat to it. But really good. So Chipotle Bowl is one of the top five I guess fast food, you gotta go in and get it, but still it's fast. They make it right there and they make the bowl in probably less than a minute, pay and you're gone. One of the best healthy slash quick fast food joints around. Um, you can get healthy as you want. You can add guacamole if you want. Tacos, burritos, or salad if you want. I love Chipotle. So, if you hadn't tried it, there's one on Two Nights Road, right over there before Walmart. If, if, you, if you live close to me, you can give it a shot. Otherwise, they're everywhere. Forest Drive, Harbison, they're all over the place. There's uh, one in, on Gervais Street for you and you college kids or people who go downtown Columbia. Like I said, you got choice of rice, choices of beans, choices of salsa, choices of meat. Corn, cheese, and guacamole. Yeah, that's good. Chipotle. Two big thumbs. Wash your hands. And never bunt the cleanup hitter. It's stupid. If you do it, you ought to be ejected. Thank you, guys. Give Chipotle a try. If you haven't, it's really good. Wash your hands. Keep your hands out your mouth, nose, and eyes. Swing away from the cleanup hitter and try Chipotle. See y'all later.